Good morning, guys. We've got a new lake house. Let's check it out. So yeah, overnight, I became a billionaire. We scratched off a lottery ticket, and we won a billion dollars. You know, after taxes, it's a couple hundred million, but... Yeah, we are officially a billionaire, quote unquote, and let's check out my new lake house. We've also got a lot of other cool things we're going to be doing in today's video, so stay tuned and also hit the like button down below. So first thing I like to do, hop in the shower. You know, this shower is 10 times bigger than my last apartment, but yeah, I'm going to shower real quickly. Turn off the camera. And then once we've showered, we're good to go for the day and we can check out the rest of the house. So if you walk downstairs, we've got an open kitchen with a full island, a double oven, massive smart fridge. And then the back doors open up to my gigantic Olympic-sized swimming pool. Built in with its custom five steps, we can walk down into the water, take a nice morning swim. Oh, uh, we took a shower. Okay, well, so much for that. But yeah, we uh, just took a nice swim, and then we could check out the lake. So yeah, that's quick tour of my new property as a billionaire. Not much, but you never want to spend all your money once you get that check. So yeah, we actually have another surprise in today's video, which is why you probably clicked on the video. My good friend, Henry Ford, the first that is, uh, decided he wanted to give me uh, two Mustangs. And now these aren't just normal Mustangs. He's giving me the brand new Dark Horse 2024 Mustangs. And these are unreleased. Nobody has seen them before, uh, or at least driven them. No customers have got them. And, you know, if you know the right people, you can get their nice vehicles. So we're going to go head over to Henry's house. He's got supposedly a modern sized house. You know, we'll have to see what it's like. We got the truck and trailer ready to go. Well, let's head on over. All right before we do, let me launch a drone. I want to show you guys an overhead of my driveways. It's actually pretty neat. Let me uh, launch a drone here. All right, the drone's going up, guys. Check it out. So if you look at my property, it's actually half an acre of land. And what we got, as you can see, we've got two driveways, one that goes to the garage and one goes to the front circle drive. I had that built in custom made, which is brand new cement, which is always nice. And then we've got the pool over there. Fenced in property, trees, and some solar panels over there, which powers my house. I figure why not invest in a couple hundred thousand dollars in solar panels to save me a lot worth of power. So yeah, we're good to go. Let's hop in our F-250, which actually Henry Ford gave to us. What a nice guy. He keeps giving us things. But yeah, we're going to hop in and head over to his house. Oh, also, when you win a billion dollars, uh, you got to hire a private security team. So that's Earl over there. He's our head security leader. And he makes sure that we're safe at all costs and there's no threats to us. We actually have security following behind us in a car. Uh, they're going to stay a little bit of a distance so, you know, I can actually have my personal space. But, yeah, we've got a security team with us at all times. They're going to follow us behind, make sure everything's good. And if they have to intercept, then, you know, they'll do so. But, yeah, it's nice to have peace of mind. You know, you just want to be careful nowadays. Can't really eat at McDonald's anymore, man, because I'll, I'll get too many autographs. I was the only person to win a billion dollars on a scratch off. So, you know, I'm pretty famous, too. All right, well, we're almost at Henry Ford, the first house. Uh, let's see. We'll know when we're there. There'll be a couple Mustangs sitting out front, and he said we can take two of them. We get to pick what color we want, which is kind of cool. He's never done that before, but here we go. It should be up on the right. Oh, man, there they are. Look at those beasts, man. Oh, there's some good colors, too. He, he brought the good ones. If he would have brought pink and green and yellow, I would have been out, man. I don't want them, but those look like some pretty nice colors. All right, we're going to launch the ramps, and then right there should be good. We're good to load them on. We're going to take two. We're the first ones to be able to get these other than the manufacturer. So, all right, these are the colors. We've got a little bit of a different kind of blue. What do they call this? Azure blue. That's the Ford color. We've got a nice orange, code orange, and then we've got their classic Ford blue. So, I personally am going to need the code orange. So, we're going to load this one up first. Let's do a nice little cold start. We've got four exhaust pipes back here. I mean, this thing is a beast. Black on black rims. And then we've got the stripes up top. All right, what else we got? The nice new headlights. I mean, this car got totally redesigned, and they did a fabulous job on it. I think there actually is more room in the back seat. Let's check it out. Yep, there's definitely more room. Got the Recaro racing seats. Can't get any better than this, man. All right, let's fire this bad boy up. We're going to take the code orange one. Here we go. Fire it up, baby. Oh, yeah. This thing is loud. All right, we're going to take it for a spin down the block. All right, it's quick, but it ain't no Lamborghini, man. We're getting up there. Let's see. Oh, we're not in track mode. Okay, hold on. We might be able to switch the modes. Looks like we can switch the steering, the exhaust, the drive, and we can turn off traction. So, okay, we could do that. Let's pull a little U-turn here. Yeah, this thing rips, man. This is definitely a fast car. Look at the lights, too. They're super bright. Turn indicators, pretty cool. I think that was pretty cool when those taillights would animate, but, you know, sometimes you got to modernize. All right, here we go. Uh, hopefully, we can fit both of these Mustangs on the trailer because it is kind of tight. There we go. Let's bring this one all the way forward, and then we're going to throw its straps around it, around the wheels. Let's see right there. Looks good. Let's throw one right there. 
All right, it's going to be tight. I think we're going to have to load it up and then prop up the back tires and then close the ramp. So, all right, let's get it done. Wait, wait, one more important thing. We got to make the decision between the two blues, okay? Personally, I'm not a fan of the super bright, flashy blue. I think we're going with this one, man. This is a great color. They did a fabulous job on it. It's not too, you know, fancy or anything like that, but it's also got that nice look at the end of the day. So, all right, we're going with this one. Yo, Henry, man, thanks for the cars. We'll see you later. Oh, yeah, also, Henry's kind of cheap, man. He puts all the money back in the business, which helps him improve the cars, and they're pretty spectacular, but he doesn't really live in a big house. Maybe one day. Okay, we're going to head back to our house, and we're going to put these in the garage. I want to see what they look like, line them up, and then we're going to put the actual F-250 in the garage and leave the trailer outside. So once we get that done, then we can do a little bit more of the test drives on these things. Um... I kind of want to do a 0 to 60 test. I know that some people have done the test on them already, but, you know, we're going to do it ourselves. See what we can get. These dark horse vehicle packages are really insane. You know, they put amount of horsepower is insane in these cars. So, yeah, we're going to test that out. It's a 5.0 V8, which is a massive engine. I think uh, it's actually quicker than the older previous Mustangs just because they have better traction, better aerodynamics, which allows it to, you know, propel a lot faster. All right, we are back, Earl. What is going on, my man? And then security is right behind us. Oh, my gosh. What do we do? Okay. Should have swung a little bit wider there. We took out the light post. All right. One way to do this. Drive over it. We maybe should have backed this in the driveway, but that's going to be kind of tricky with the traffic here. There we go. Let's pull it up. We can spin it around in the lawn for a second. I don't want to damage the lawn too much, but this should be good to back it up to the house. We'll get them unloaded here. Let's get the ramps down. Here we go. Another startup on this Mustang. This sounds so good. There we go. It's not cold yet, but in the morning, this thing is going to sound amazing. All right. We're going to put it into the garage over here. There we go. Oh, it automatically opens. What? Oh, yep. That's right. Face ID. It's pretty cool. The technology face ID, and then they know it's you to open your garage door. Oh, don't close. I mean, one more car. All right. Fire up this Mustang. The code orange. This is a great color, too. I think this uh, turned out pretty well. Headlights. You got the indicators that are integrated with the uh, running daylights. There we go. We got the hazards on. Then you have your normal day beams or night beams. And then you got high beams. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And this Mustang is going to go right next to its brother. Let's see. Back it right in. Perfect. And turn it off. Look at that. That looks so cool. It goes well with our Ford sign up here. Ford Motor Co. Since 1903. You know, Henry Ford the first gave me that sign. Then look, we got the classic Mustang signs. Yeah, I'm a big Mustang man. We got the engine right there from the old Mustang. We've got another sign over here that says genuine parts of V8. Of course, always get a V8 in a Mustang. You're crazy if you don't. Uh, we've got an older Ford truck here. This is one of those single cab farm trucks. Another poster up there. I've got a lot of Ford stuff. What do we got here? This is the cylinder block diagram. And yeah, pretty sweet. Right down there, you got the engine. Got some old motor oil. So yeah, pretty cool setup in the garage here. Uh, we're going to back in the F-250, and that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you want to see us come back and, you know, enjoy ourselves as a billionaire, maybe do some other cool stuff with the vehicles, let us know down below in the comments. You know, also drop a thumbs up, too. That shows me you like it and you want to see more. Subscribe if we do come back and you don't know. So, yeah, if you stay tuned and subscribed, you'll know. So, thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.